A large hurricane is heading for the coast of California. A temperature battle is happening across the United States. Severe storms are popping up everywhere. It's been a crazy past few days. And today we're going to be breaking down the next few days all the way up until September 1st. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off with the SPC outlook, we got three different marginal risks of severe weather today. One's down in the desert southwest, one is up in the northwest, and one is up in the northeast. So let's go ahead and break down all these threats. The tornado threat is very low for today, but it is not super unlikely that we can see a small spin-up tornado. Uh, and then we have three different 5% risks of damaging winds. If you are in any of these brown areas, you have a 5% chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles an hour or higher. Those could be very damaging, so watch out for that. Now moving on to our hail threat, we actually have less than a 5% chance to see large hail in all these areas today. But again, that does not mean it's impossible. Now moving into tomorrow, for the first time in so long, we don't even have a marginal risk. It's been a while since we've had a day without a slight risk, but there's not even a marginal risk here. So there's really no big threat for anywhere in America tomorrow, uh, unless somewhere gets upgraded, which is most likely going to happen, unfortunately, but it's very possible that it couldn't, you know? Um, so overall, I'd just say watch out for some scattered shower and storm activities, especially over here in the West Coast. Uh, so moving into Sunday here, we do have a marginal risk of severe weather, but it is too far out to break down the threats. So just know that uh, there is a small chance that you will see severe weather in this region, and that's actually because there's a hurricane coming, but we're going to talk about that later. I don't want to uh, talk about that too much yet. So let's go ahead and move on to the excessive rainfall outlook. So today we have a slight risk to see excessive rainfall. That's a 15% chance uh, that is in the desert southwest. So if you're in this yellow area here, then you have a 15% chance to see excessive rainfall that meets flash flooding guidance. So basically you have a 15% chance to see flash flooding. So look out for that. Moving into tomorrow, we have a moderate risk for flash flooding because of our hurricane that once again we are going to wait to break down until uh, in a few minutes here uh this extends all the way from mexicali up into southern california so if you're in that red area you have a 40 percent chance to see flash flooding that's going to be pretty crazy and then moving into sunday we have two different high risks of flash flooding this has not happened in months to have two different high risks. So listen up. If you're in either of these pink areas, you need to be ready on Sunday to have to possibly evacuate your home if possible. And this is just the flooding outlook because you have a 70% chance to see flash flooding. And some places are going to see extreme flash flooding that could lead to flash flood emergencies being issued, which is one of the highest weather warnings of all time. So especially like cathedrals, city into the Palm Desert region down here, and then there's one up here near Death Valley, which is a decently populated area. You need to be on extreme lookout for flash flooding on Sunday. Prepare now. So moving into Monday, we just have a slight risk, so nothing too out of the ordinary, but we do have two of them, and one of them does include LA, uh, but this is once again from our hurricane, but we're not going to talk about that too much, because uh, I've already hyped it up enough, you know. <laughs> so moving into Tuesday here, We've just got a few marginal risks. We don't have a slight risk anywhere. We have one in southern Texas. We have two over here uh, in the desert southwest and one in the northwest. So look out for that, uh, especially on, uh, on Sunday here. You need to be very flash flooding aware, okay? I cannot stress that enough. I know I over-exaggerate sometimes in the weather world, but this is serious. So moving on to the Climate Prediction Center. So we have our day six to 10 temperature outlook. So here we have our above average heat dome here. Uh, this has gotten much smaller and has become more isolated and gone down to the south a little bit more, including parts of like the Panhandle of Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Southern Arkansas, Louisiana, East Texas, and Southeastern Oklahoma. And then we have our cold dome up here in the Northeast that saw some extremely low temperatures down here for August to, uh, today. So definitely up in the Northeast, get ready. Fall is coming early, ladies and gentlemen. So there are a couple other heat and cool domes, but they're not very significant, so we're not going to talk about that. But our day 6 to 10 precipitation outlook, we are going to talk about. We still have a massive wet dome over here, and part of that is because of Hurricane Hillary, but I've already talked about that a ton before even getting into it, so I'm not going to talk about that too much. But you have a very high chance to see above-average precipitation in southwestern Idaho, eastern Oregon, and northeastern Nevada. 
Canada uh, from August 24th to August 28th. And then you might see some below average precipitation down here in the deep south from those dates. Uh, and maybe even going up into the Midwest Ohio Valley region. So look out for that. Uh, moving on to our day 8 through day 14 outlooks, that would be from August 26th to September 1st. So we are officially forecasting into September. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm not a fan of August. You know, school starts up again. It's hot. It's just kind of icky. I'm excited to be talking about September. Um, so our heat dome is pretty much gone. This is kind of just standard southern heat or summer heat rather, but it is in the south, ironically. Now that I did say it's southern heat. Um, so East Texas, Louisiana, Southwestern Alabama, or sorry, Mississippi, not Alabama. I always get those two mixed up. Uh, look out for some very above average temperatures, even for you guys, for your standards, even though it's always extremely hot down there, especially in the summer. Uh, and then our Northeast cold dome doesn't really do much, kind of just stays the same, expanding a little bit into the Ohio Valley in the Midwest, though. So definitely get ready for that. You guys are starting to get the coolness and even a little bit of the South. It's not really the deep South because it's just West Virginia and Virginia, but people consider that the South, I think, right? So next up, we have our day 8 through day 14 precipitation outlook. That's August 26th to September 1st. We have a tiny bit of a drought here. Uh, and again, I don't even want to say drought because it's not happening right now. And it might not even happen. There's a 33 to 40% chance of you seeing below average precipitation for these dates. Uh, if you're in this light brown area here and then up here in the northwest the dark green you have a 50 to 60 percent chance to see above average precipitation once again in idaho so get ready for that uh and that's the climate prediction center so now moving on to what i've been building up the entire video for the national hurricane center now it's not only a hurricane heading for california that we have to worry about we have four different tropical disturbances out here right now in the Atlantic. So we have this one over here that has a 40% chance to form in the next seven days. And that one is definitely being able to head to the Southeast. I don't know why I couldn't speak there, but it could definitely head up to the Southeast here. So get ready for that. Hurricane season is really starting to pick up. Uh, we've got one right here that has a 30% chance to form in the next week and a 10% chance to form in the next 48 hours. However, this will most likely go out into the Atlantic Ocean and do nothing but hurt the fishies. Uh, save the fishies, yeah. <laughs> that was stupid. Um, this one right here has a 40% chance to form in the next week and a 40% chance to form in the next 48 hours. And then this one has a 60% chance to form in the next 48 hours and a 70% chance to form in the next week. I don't know why I said 70 like that, but I did. <laughs> but luckily, these three definitely, well, I don't want to say definitely, but probably are just going to go out into the Atlantic and not hurt anybody. But this one right here, get ready. This one could definitely, if it forms, impact the coast of Florida here and maybe even other parts of the southeast. So let's go ahead and move on to the eastern Pacific here. This is all the action. Hurricane Hillary, oh my gosh, it is currently a Category 4 hurricane with 130 mile an hour sustained winds. What did I just do? <laughs> with 130 mile an hour sustained winds. Um, this is going to be huge, and it is heading directly for California here. So let's go ahead and click on it. Uh, you can see right here, Hurricane Hillary's path. Um, it's going to go straight up for California and even go into Nevada a little bit. However, it will be slightly weakened out by then. It will just uh, most likely be a low-end hurricane, high-end tropical storm. But it could it could still be a decently sized hurricane. So if you're in south uh, western California as well as southern Nevada, you need to get ready. This thing could very well hit you guys, and uh, it might need to. It might make you need to cause. Well, I can't speak, dude. It might make you have to uh, take shelter for a while or even possibly evacuate. So definitely get ready. This thing's going to be a monster. Um, there's really no signs of it slowing down until it gets right up there. Like right now, it's a Category 4. If it stays that way for that long, this will be the next major hurricane that everybody talks about. Um, but let's go and move on to the Central Pacific, where we do have this right here, but this is just, uh, I don't know why this is here, because there's a 0% chance to form the next week, so we don't need to worry about it. 
So that is it for today. So if you guys did enjoy this severe weather breakdown, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't be scared. Be prepared. But whenever this hurricane comes uh, right for California and Nevada, you need to get ready. Hurricane season is just starting to pick up. Like I said, it's about to get nuts out there, especially since the Atlantic. Uh, I know we're not in the Atlantic, but in the Atlantic, temperatures are hotter in the ocean than they ever have been before. So also in this region, the southeast, you need to get ready. But uh, I'm done. I'm done uh, freaking you guys out for today. Once again, I'm. I don't mean to make anybody scared. I just want to make sure that everybody's aware of the kind of threat that's coming for them, um, especially since these are in such populated areas. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.